Okay. All right, good. So re we're ready to begin the afternoon session for Monday, October 26, 2015. This is uh, regarding the um, uh, Blueprint Week that, um, that the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute has been offering to the public. And this is the afternoon uh, teaching, which will be more on the theoretical and uh, as opposed to the practical this morning. Okay, I think uh, Mr. Kesh is ready to go there with his uh, his new uh, whiteboard that uh, we're still getting used to, but it's quite a, a, an interesting tool, I think. Go ahead, Mr. Kesh. What's when he likes? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, <coughs> good afternoon, good evening, good day to you, whenever, wherever you start and watching these broadcastings. Today is the second part of the first day of what we call a Blueprint Day. What the Blueprint has stood for and stands for is a technical no, uh, word for the copy of the origin, which means in olden days, if you were a craftsman, when you made a blueprint was the final page, final design, which everything was manufactured of. If you were uh, still, I think, used in some industries, when you had a blueprint in your hand, you knew this is the end product you have to produce. It goes back to the craftsman times, when we used to have the drawing boards and with the biggest scales. And when we did the blueprints, it meant it's sacrosanct, it's the final and it'll be copied and everything will be made up. We call it the blueprint, which means we share our knowledge of what has been with the, uh, what you call the structure of the development of the blue box, which is the energy unit, Magrav energy unit. We try to keep, if you were me and you could see what I can see, you laugh your head off but I keep very quiet. I've just seen something very interesting. So what happens is that we made the system. The systems are getting released literally from the factory this week. We see that the units which you received or you receive is made of plasma works on a new structure of life. It works on a structure where, in reality, we are never, we have never been allowed to understand because it was too far out for us to be able to comprehend the simplest part of the technology, of the whole creation. Somehow I can't get rid of my dots. Turn a new page. Where? Here. Bottom, here. I can turn as many pages as you like. Okay, new page, new life. This is a new page for human race, new energy. <coughs> we accidentally turn a page on human life. Let us look at what is plasma. Plasma is literally been made to a world, especially in an energy technology, especially in the world of medicine, to something, especially when it comes to production of energy, that is worse word than nuclear. If you were a nuclear physicist 50 years ago, you were a, a stupid genius because you thought you can understand more. So, <coughs> our belief has been in a very simple way that we had, ooh, we lost our pen. We want a pen back. The top one. I have changed it. I don't need this. Pardon? I have done that. Yeah, but I've gone to the triangle. You lot get to know more about this than I do. You see, it doesn't go because I have to, I have dots. I think I have to go to my. Mm. 
in the middle. Choose the line. Okay, but they'll still have a triangle. Oh, it's done. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was playing. You see, this is happened when you get a new toy. This is the problem playing with a new toy. Okay, now, sorry about this. You got to bear with us. Happened to be today coming in, so that's what it is. It's been sitting down there for two weeks. Remember one thing. On this planet, we are used to what we call matter state. What have we done with matter? We have melted it, we have burnt it, we have liquidified it, we have frozen it, we have vaporized it, and that's all we could do in the condition of the environment of gravitational field and magnetic field of this planet. Then, in the process of scientific evolution, we have managed to go deeper and deeper in this matter state. We became atomic, and then we got a bit, little more cleverer. We went more deeper in the atom in the past hundred years, and we become what is known as a new guys. But, what we have done in all these statements of matter state, different condition of environment, atomic or nuclear, we have never walked away from one reality. In atomic, we call it an atom, it could be proton and electron, and we call this one entity. Ooh, looks good. Then, in nuclear, we went into the structure of the center. And now, instead of dealing as a matter with a big lump of atoms, we came to deal with one atom, and then we came to deal with the center of the atom, which what we call nucleus, and the nuclear part. But the reality hasn't changed. The nuclear next step to it is plasma. Because that's what is the next step of evolution. What is inside this? This is a plasma. How far can we break into it to understand more of it? Nuclear physicists made the life very interesting and they got most of the people frightened of them. Because to want people to listen to you, you show them the power. And accidentally, as Einstein said himself, the biggest mistake in his life was getting the Americans to build a nuclear bomb, the atomic bomb, which went on Hiroshima. His advice was taken seriously, and as we know, American government decided to go full whack with it. But because they were frightened of it, they saw how many can kill. They start valuing us and respecting us falsely. Now we go to the next step, which is going further in. We came from the solid, we went to atomic, we went to nuclear. Now is the time, what we call the plasma, which what is the nucleus is made of? What is that structure? And now we've seen the same falsification of knowledge is carried through with the plasma technologies. But this time, we are double-minded because we attach plasma to a lot of things. Plasma of the blood, plasma of this, plasma of energy. And very recently, in the past couple of years, the ones who don't understand, now, with the same falsification of power of nuclear, they added new stupidity into plasma, what they call the God part. Because now you don't know whatever we say you've got to accept. So, in reality, it's the next step looking inside the construction of the universe when you look inside the plasma. There is no God particle. The ones who came up with the God particle, it means, oh God, they don't even have a brain to think. Because if the plasma reduces in strength enough, 
at the boundary when it manifests itself as a plasma itself literally if you think of it here is a god particle because that's the point of manifestation of the plasma itself but now they are looking inside it to find where this might happen here that they could call it a god particle so here is a god particle outside then it shows that the plasma itself is a god particle so this shows the hypocrisy which has been created around the plasma technology because this way they can milk the society for the money as a worth building hundreds of millions of research centers for just PhDs and good houses with swimming pool. Otherwise, it doesn't create anything else. So, as we are Keshe Foundation, and we pass being a nuclear physicist, it's an old fashioned, we don't wear these clothes anymore. Nowadays, it's fashionable to be a plasma physicist. So, now we explain in a simple way that all of us, the whole of the human race, over the next couple of years, and especially after this week, you all become plasma physicists. And the funniest thing is, do you know what's going to happen? All the plasma physicists which are sitting in CERN, they laugh at you. This is not that we are the physicists. We know you're rubbish talking because this way it shows their degree was worth nothing. We made a lot of money for a lot of people to research into nothing. Just good titles. So what is the plasma physics? What is the plasma? You want to see what is inside of a neutron. You want to see what's inside of the proton. There is no difference between a proton, electron, neutron, the sun, the earth, the universe. It's the same circle. You decided to put different name to it according to the size of the plasma inside it. But the working is the same. They're all dynamic, they all carry gravitational, magnetic, magnetical field, which is repulsion. And they all share their field with their environment. So, if plasma is supposed to be a mystery, you don't understand it in the electron level. You don't understand it in proton or in neutron or the earth or the sun. Look at the biggest size of the universe. You see the same composition. Somewhere the energy from the central line of the universe, which is here, has emitted. And if I can go a little bit less, and in a slowing down, Somewhere it has interacted with enough magnetic fields, it's like crashing the car. When you're going, let's say, 100 kilometers an hour and you have no brake, you keep on hitting different trees and barriers till you come to a halt. That's what happens. When a magnetic gravitational field of a plasma from the center of the universe is released, as it slows down, as by interacting with other fields, somewhere here, manifests itself in a matter of state of strength. So now you can't see it in a plasma of a proton. You can see it in a plasma of the universe. You can see it <coughs> in the plasma of the solar system. The same thing is just change the name. The sun, oh, the sun has created radiation. And these radiations battle with other fields in their environment. And somewhere, when they slow down, they don't need necessarily Earth to convert to a neutron or to a nitrogen or to a proton. Somewhere in the plasma of this solar system, if the field becomes a strength of the matter state of the solar system, then at this point somewhere, you see manifestation of the matter. If it's the strength of a nitrogen, you call it the nitrogen. If it's the strength of oxygen, you call it oxygen. So now you see, we don't need to come up with all these fancy words and names, bosons and what do you call it, quarks and up quarks and down quarks and bosons. 
because we never understood. So if there is an up quark and down quark, I think Earth must be the up quark. Mars could be the down quark, and bosons most probably are the moons. So creating again another bunch of false names for the same thing is leading mankind to a wrong way to look at the whole structure of the universe and the work of the universe. And that's why when we put things in order, Pardon? Am I back? Yeah. So what it is, these names have become another structure in the whole misinforming the public, misinforming the knowledge of the humanity for a few people's titles. Because they spend a lot of time getting these PhDs, getting these seats as professors, and now that they see the reality is out and their position is in danger, they're not man enough to say, we made a mistake. Now we start with a new way, we start with understanding new thing. So what do they say? Can you change the name of your plasma? Because the way you explain the plasma, my professorship worth nothing. We had it. The top Italian nuclear physicist professor sent by American to us, to the Sansano, when he realized he's a senior advisor to CERN in Italy, in uh, Switzerland. His patents are used to control the plasma, which actually all of you do like this from now on. You know more about the plasma than the professor does. So when he realized what he says, he doesn't say you are right or wrong, he says, can you change the name of your plasma the way you define it? Because otherwise my patents worth nothing. So this guy, instead of being very correct, he goes and puts opposition against Cash Foundation because his PhD patents, whatever, are worthless. So now what we do in Cash Foundation, we make a physicist out of all of you, a plasma physicist, because this is something you've been born with. You all know it. You all understand it in such a simple way. You do not need somebody else to tell you. Because if you understand the work of the plasma in every state, traveling the space for man become as easy as drinking a cup of water. Because if you understand the behavior of plasma in any of these states, you can produce it at the strength which you need anywhere in the universe. This is what we teach here at the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. How easy a man can understand the work of the creation and the work of the universe in a very, very simple way. That, as we say, we're not much intelligence, we are all intelligent enough to survive in a space if we go to a space, because we understand the totality. So, what is in the plasma? What is the mystery with this new world? There is no mystery. If you look at it, the reality is that somewhere in the universe, magnetic fields flow everywhere in every shape and form and directions. Some go, and in so many ways, some come back. And somewhere, when the fields are strong enough and of the same, they interact. If they are of the similar strength, and they are of opposite strength, they create a position where this one, if I choose a different color, this one tries to link up with this, and this one tries to link up with this. So what happens? In trying to link up, what they make is very simple. You have what wants to go out, 
the black, I have to measure my speed with this thing. It's the speed of rotation. Ooh, it's a good plasma. So, you have this. This is what's trying to get out. It's okay because they have different shapes. And you have another one which is trying to pull in. So, the one which is trying to pull in becomes gravitational. And the one which is pushing away becomes magnetical. You have to realize in English word, because of the use of too many words of similar things, there is a confusion in wording, but it's not confusion in the science. Gravitation means to gravitate, to get pulled into. Magnetical or magnetical repulsion is when you separate each other, when you push against each other. If I choose two magnets, Fabio, are you there? Can you come close on the picture? If we take two magnets, two spherical magnets, if we rotate them, if we allow them, you see what happens. They always find a point of reference. Some will go clockwise, some go anti-clockwise. And in so many ways, we don't need much to be able to attract. So what happens is that magnetical and gravitational work in a total opposite way. It's okay, I've finished. Did you want to show that again, Mr. Cash, briefly? Yes, if you want to do it, if we you want to see it. So what happens is you have, this is the shape of plasma. Plasmas are always round. We haven't seen a square plasma. So this magnet has its north pole or exit and entry. And this entry and exit has interaction with another if it's opposite. And if I turn it, you see it cannot come together. But if you look, if you can come close enough, you see it doesn't need much energy to attract the other one. So, as you see, there is no fuel burned. There is no rocket engine, there is no fuel. Only what brings the thing together is interaction of gravitational magnetic field, if it's attracting or repulsing. If it's attracting, we call it gravitation. If it is repulsion, we call it magnetical. So, what happens is that this is the shape of a plasma. A plasma attracts what we call gravitation. A plasma repulses, creates repulsion amongst its fields we call magnetical, which is the repulsion. Not magnetic. Magnetical like gravitational. Gravitational is the interaction between two fields which are opposite to each other and magnetical which is similar, which they reject each other. Atmosphere of the Earth, we call it magnetical. Gravitation of the Earth, we call what it pulls and holds us to. So, one creates a shielding, and the other one creates attraction to hold on to what you have. And this is the behavior of any plasma. Earth has the same. It has a shielding, we call it the atmosphere. It has a gravitation, we call it that it holds on to it. Sun has the same, proton has the same, electron has the same. So, this is the behavior of a plasma, and when you are in a plasmatic condition, it means continuously you are in a process of getting attracted, or you attract yourself. When you get attracted, you connect yourself in this line. When you attract, you connect yourself in this line. So, continuously you give, and you take, and you connect. So, now, if you look at the totality of it, a plasma like Earth creates 
a flow of gravitational and magnetical in 360 degree in a spherical shape, but the flow of the magnetic field in it and the flow of magnetical field out of it creates a constant flow that it can exist in its environment. So now you're all plasma physicists. Plasma in a single language, in a simple physics language, is the interaction of magnetic gravitational field forces which the totality creates an environment that collectively they interact with their environment. Call this collective interaction plasma of a proton or Earth or Sun or our universe. There is no difference. It's the amount of the field in the entity. The less we have created a name for it, the smaller size, the bigger we have created a different name for it in a bigger size of the mass of gravitational magnetic field, the strength within the center of this entity. So, if you put trillions and trillions and trillions of electrons together, you still create yourself a sun. If you put trillions and trillions of suns, gravitational magnetic field, plasma together, you can create the power of a galaxy and the same. So, it's as it reduces in strength, in gravitational magnetic field, it appears in different state. The state of matter, as we always say, is somewhere here, because it's very low. The state of emotion is somewhere here. The state of universal central plasma is somewhere here. But in fact, they're all plasmas. Even in a matter state, is a plasma. But a plasma where the magnetic gravitational field in respect to the environmental gravitational magnetic field of the Earth manifests themselves as a solid, tightly packed. We change the environment of it, we saw them as nanomaterial, we change the environment of them, we saw them releasing themselves as what we call gas, and you see it tomorrow. So, we as human beings now have the ability to create conditions without the environment, but with gravitational magnetic field forces. It's mastering the work of the universe. And that's why the work of the Keshe Foundation looks so strange. This is why, as somebody said, I've become the guy who said the Earth is round, and they showed him a pole and a rope. But hopefully we passed that time. We've seen it, the Belgian government has been trying to be the hangar to stop this technology to come out because we declared there is a new science in man's intelligence to understand. So now you understand why there is such a opposition to the Keshe Foundation work with the plasma. Because now we have made plasma at the reach of every man. A five-year-old child, as we always say, in China is producing nanomaterial in the toilet. More important than the physicist in CERN. This is why the physicists in CERN have a problem, because the intelligence is not a five-year-old girl. That's where it comes, and that's why you see so much opposition. We are terrorists and the rest. Now, we all, as a human race, using the plasma, we all have become terrorists against one nation and it's called Belgium. The rest of the world is moving on. So now you got to understand why we have to understand the totality of this, that no one else can abuse the human race because understanding the work of the plasma is the key to travel in the universe. Cash Foundation is a space institute. We don't use fuels, we don't use, we don't burn anything. We use the understanding of the interaction of the gravitational magnetic field, both magnetically and gravitationally, in respect one entity to another. If you look 
I have the magnets in my hand. If I put these magnets on a table, transparent that you can see, I don't do anything with it. It's just that the magnets, their position dictates each other. Can you see this or do you want to come closer? Yes? So what happens is that what we do, I don't do any. Do you want to take this board with you or can we put it on the table to go bigger? We have to stop the screen sharing in order to see. We're going to screen share with you. Just wait one second that our camera people can come close enough to see. If you want to come close, you can photo. Are you into it? Oh, good. So you can see it. Uh, can you see it from the back? So what happens is that if you look, I don't do anything. The magnets find their position in respect to each other. And if I just bring another magnet, which is positive opposite polarity, look what happens. No fuel bend. It attracts the other one to it. So if you look in respect to these, it turns, but in respect to itself, it doesn't. So they accommodate each other. This is the reason even why proton and electrons rotate around each other, because they find positioning, constant positioning is needed for one plasma to be in touch or in balance with another plasma. So now you have to become plasma physicist. And the only way you'll survive in a space is through plasmas. Understanding its behavior, understanding its connections, understanding how it appears itself in so many ways that it can satisfy all the needs of the man. Be it energy, be it fuel, be it food, be it medicine. Because in the universe, we never fight. We accommodate. You've seen how the magnets accommodate each other. Why the present medicine has failed? Because we fight against every disease. We can work very simply amongst the disease, amongst the infection, and just change their gravitational magnetic field, and you find out they give or they take or they cannot exist. That's why you see cancers and other diseases will be eradicated in no time. So what it comes and what is important, if it's very hard for you to understand, I brought you the most complicated plasma technology that you can all understand. My students know I always use simple things because it comes home very easy with it. This is the science of plasma, a toilet roll. Very interesting. Have a look at it. You understand it very quick. If I open enough of this toilet roll and leave it here, I'm going to put this away, you very soon come to you lot exactly what's going on. If I take this as one piece of plasma, magnetical or gravitational, the physicist in CERN will kill himself. This technology has come down to toilet. I'm a nuclear physicist, so I can stay back. Excuse me, so, Mr. Kesh, can we get the screen share to be stopped so that uh, we can see the video? Yes, you can do. Stop. Can Thank you me. see it? Yes, that's yeah. great. So now what I've done, I open this plasma. This is at the end of it. Now we're going to put this plasma, which way does it roll? This way. So I'm going to roll it open the right way. If I go that way, I roll my toilet roll. Sun has finished. There we are. Now you can see what I'm getting at. This is your plasma of hydrogen, let's say. Inside is tightly packed 
with gravitational magnetic field. As it comes to the edge, now you have two. You have magnetical outside and you have gravitational inside. But you have to think of this as two ways. Huh? Now you know why I've been asking for a two-ply toilet roll. That's why it was it's easier. We've been looking everywhere for a two-ply toilet roll past couple of days. So now, this is the plasma of hydrogen. And this is its magnetical and this is its gravitational. Don't forget the gravitational is in the center because it tries to pull in. And magnetical is there to shield it. But if you look, magnetic field is like taller roll, has got sections, depending on the strength. If I use this as strength, I don't have it anymore, so I go one closer, get the stronger. So now I have more gravitational, so I can pull more to myself. So this chappy from another guy becomes mine, I become bigger and bigger this way. So now you see how simply it works. This is a plasma, but this is of a hydrogen. You want to see a nuclear atomic structure plasma of, let's say, plutonium? I've got you one. There we are. <laughs> so, in fact, there is no difference. So, if I go like this, the taller row is the hydrogen. And if I open this bigger taller row of the same thing, and then let's tear it off. And then put it inside, because this is so packed we can't go inside. Then you know exactly what happens. There it goes. Then I wind it up. Then I wind it up. And then I wind it up here. And look at this. Now you have a magnetical of both hydrogen and plutonium are the atmospheric condition on this planet. It depends how much is inside according to this. This is a plutonium, this is hydrogen. But at this atmospheric condition, they manifest themselves as tangibility at this level. So they're both the same. So now the difference between a nuclear physicist and a plasma physicist is we are allowed to go inside, not being afraid of a structure of a nuclear. In understanding that depends on the strength of the magnetic fields which we have stored inside. At the boundary, we see the difference, but in respect to atmosphere of this condition of this planet. If we change the atmosphere of this planet, if I can go back on my screen, I'm gonna, it's okay. Let's see if I can reduce it. I want to share it in two half. Is that possible? Uh, we want two screen next to each other. We had it this morning. No, don't go there. You got to share it. Okay. Just bring. It's okay. Now we need to bring just one second, please. These guys know what they are doing. Just give them time. Okay, somewhere there. Just give me a position. That's perfect. So, <coughs> <coughs> so what happened? We were good. We we're perfect. Just pull a little bit to the side to close the zoom gap. Yeah, that's perfect. Marco. Thanks. So now what you see is the difference between two taller row. But on the boundary of the, the boundary, these last two layers is a condition of atmospheric earth condition. If I change this parameter and I take this plutonium into planet Zeus, most probably the manifestation of the matter state will be somewhere here. But on Earth, which is a weaker, it shows itself at a weaker point. And if you understand this, you all become plasma physicists. Every bone, every single cell in your body is a plasma. What are you afraid of? 
understanding your own creation, what you've been created out of. But in reality, there is no difference. If you could understand how simple a plasma works, you'll find out there's nothing more than a toilet roll. How you wind it, how much you wind it, and what the strength you want to show itself. You can create and store enough in the center to become gold, or you can weaken it enough to become hydrogen that you can manipulate. But what we put here in the green line is combination of gravitational and a magnetic field at a given point in the universe. So, <coughs> you see, all of you, within five minutes, one afternoon, have become more plasma physicists than the plasma physicists in the universe. Become so easy, and then all you need to worry about is, do you want to deal at this end with this, or do you want to deal at this end with this? Call this magnetical, call this gravitation. What is the problem? We are not sharing. I thought we were sharing. It says stop share, but you're sharing on the top. I can see it. Stop sharing. Can you share now? Is it okay? Or uh, you don't get it on yours. You're sharing your screen there. You have to take it back in yours and then share it on your computer. Oh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like to share the zoom up. So we put it next to it that you can see it because you see both of them. So in reality, what you got now, in a simple way, excuse me, can I have some water, please? Carly, can I have some water, please? My cold is killing me. So you will understand how the plasma can be simply explained, understood, and in so many ways, be used. We changed the plasma according to the environment. We changed the plasma according to gravitational magnetic field of the environment. If we change it according to the environmental gravitational magnetic field, then it manifests itself in a matter state in that environment. And then you have a gas, you have a liquid, you have solid, and if you want to vaporize it. But if you go to a limit that up to now was a mystery to man, which is a plasma, it's very easy to understand. Plasma of the universe, plasma of a cell of a man, works exactly the same way across all dimensions. You don't need to buy yourself telescopes or microscopes to see it. You look at the structure of the Earth, you understand the work of the plasma, you look at the structure of the universe, you understand the work of the plasma, and then you tell yourself in the structure of the solar system, if the energy of the sun in reducing in strength manifests itself somewhere as a solar dust and it becomes a dust a matter that we can see, then this plasma of this solar system is full of God particles. We have to give a lot of Nobel Prizes to a lot of sun. That's how simple it is. It's hypocrisy which has been made by a bunch of not knowing science in congratulating each other in idiocy and hypocrisy they've created for themselves. It's like a bunch of monkeys looking inside the same jar and saying, what a beautiful ocean. It's just because it's water in it. So now we see how simple if you understand this, in the structure of what we spoke this morning, you release this, you know how to release this, 
you collect it, you reduce it in the strength, and it becomes the energy you need for, thank you very much, for your plasma, for your system. In these magnet systems, you see, that's all we've done. We have released the energy of the sun. We have released the energy of the universe. But what we've done, while we are releasing it, ooh, I have to use this. This good one, this one. Go orange. When you put it here as a nano layer, on both sides of the wire, if you create an environment for it, where you can release it in the new environment and then it becomes the guns of itself. And now you have a fantastic position because you created the guns, because you have done what you were not supposed to do, the energy of the guns because of the nanomaterial of, ooh, it disappeared. Doesn't matter, it still didn't want it to be there. So these are your ganses. Oh, I wasn't happy with it. Now I can do what I wanted to do. These are your copper wire. These are your nano layers. What is interesting is that I go to a very dark color. No, I go to where I want to be here. If you can take the energy and they flow inwards. What is interesting is these nano layers here, because of their dimension, they can absorb any energy. The full spectrum of what the supplier, which is the GANS material, which is freed, will release. Interesting is, they continuously absorb all the energies in the flow direction of where they want it to go to. So, what you get is continuous flow here. But what you got to understand is, in either case, be the matter state, be the nano, be the GANS, these are all, somehow this thing goes up and down. There we are. We didn't lose it, it's there. So, somehow, all the energy is based on one thing. Matter is a plasma. The nano is a plasma. The gans is a plasma. So, the whole work of the universe is on the plasma state. Now, for the first time, we have managed to separate the energy from the matter state to separation from molecular structure to a single plasma. And we have learned using the same matter, we can absorb it back in again to give us what you are interested, free energy. Or free plasma, which now can supply us with the energy we need as we need it. This brings a new dimension to the man's thinking. And that is, the habit of man has been to store for rainy days. We always collect food for the day when there is no food. We collect money for the day when there is not going to be something we can buy. We store gold for the day if something happens, we're going to have gold to buy things from. Now that you understand this structure, for the first time, man in his life needs no storage. He don't need to store because the energy of everything you want, you ever can imagine, 
is stored in the universe. You want gold, you create gravitational magnetic field of the gold, as much as gold as you want. You want water, you can produce as much water if tangible water is your desire. You can keep the gravitational magnetic field of the water and never tangibilize it, never become tangible till the point when you want physically to have water to wash your hand. But you can carry the gravitational magnetic field of the water in your body that you can absorb moisture from the air without even drinking a glass of water. To do that, you have to change the plasma structure of your brain, which is your emotional, that accepts new energy level according equal to the water you need. So if I want water, through my emotional part of the brain, you have to go into all the teachings of the Cash Foundation in two years to understand what we are talking about. Then your body absorbs water. Because when it comes into the body of the man, then it changes to the plasma of the gas of the water, what you need. This, as I always say, Cash Foundation is a space technology, a spaceship program, not a space program. A space program like NASA is jet propulsion, burning fuel, worrying about the food and everything else. With the spaceship program, there is no worry because in the space, we take from the universal magnetic gravitational field what we need. If we need water, we convert it to water. If we need energy or plutonium, we change it to plutonium and the rest of it. With the difference that once you understand the gravitational magnetic field positioning, you don't burn fuel. You position yourself in respect to the environment where you want to be. Burning of the fuel is ended with propulsion. In a space technology, you position yourself in respect to two things. One is gravitational and one is magnetical. And if you find a position, in respect to gravitational or the magnetical, then you find where you want to be or what is your position. You increase your gravitational in respect to another planet, you get attracted to it, you increase your magnetical, you separate from it. So burning of the fuel, jet propulsion, uh, going through what I call NASA rigma of what I call swimming pools training, is over. Every single man from now becomes the passengers of the universal community. In a way, put it this way, you already have been part of this spaceship program. The only difference is your craft with habitually you call it Earth. Now you have you can make what you call substations to be able to leave in miniature craft, creating the same condition, gravitational magnetic positioning, to find new positions in the universe without burning a single atom. And this is where the new plasma technology teaches man a new dimension. We don't need to burn. Yes, go ahead. What do you want to do? You want to change me? Maximize this. Okay, okay, close that one down. The job of the plasma physicist in CERN is finished. So, it all became taller role. Not bad. It's what is used for counts, not what it stands there for. It cleans a lot of. Mm -mm. So, now you have to understand how we have not given you an energy union, but we have started to show you a new way to survive in space. I do apologize, I've got a very bad cold. Gifts from my wife. So, that's why the wives are there, to give you gifts. So, you look at this, you understand how 
when you understand the simplicity of the plasma, the whole outlook for mankind changes. Do we need to go through disasters? Do we need to go through um, conditions that we cannot support health or life? Do we need to go through conditions which is paramount now? We can't even feed ourselves anymore if the governments decide not to. Now that you understand the work of a plasma, you can understand how MAGRAF systems work, then it's very logical. Do we need what we call supermarket? I don't think so. In a very short time, as I said earlier today, we will run what we call blueprint for the food units, where you can feed yourself. And I wonder how much supermarkets will pay you for you to take the food away from them. That was a dancing of the man, freedom, food. So now you see how things are going to change. Now that you understand even diseases, viruses, uh, magnetic gravitational packages stuck themselves to protein amino acid of the man, and you know how to create opposite gravitational magnetic field the strength of them, do you need pharmaceuticals? Because now you can create the same system in your systems and overcome any disease. In the next 12 months from today that we have released this open in public, when the scientists start opening and analyzing how simply things can be done, nothing will be the same anymore. No energy, no medicine, no food, no production of material, even the space travel. The only thing is, we even have seen in past few days how some people are planning and using to abuse the knowledge of the plasma in the form of drug trafficking. Because you can reach the emotion of the man using the same technology. We are fully aware of what's going on, but I give you, it's not all hunky-dory. Some people have managed to understand the wrong side of it and move from one nation to another to use these kind of technologies. Because you can create touching emotion and the thinking of the man as much as you can feed the man. So now you have to understand how powerful this technology can be and how it can be used or abused in a very easy way. Use it, you have the best space technology. Abuse it, you only destroy yourself, nothing else. In so many ways, plasma technology is the only solution for the future. You have no alternative. Oil will never run out. We have proven oils are produced for billions of years and they'll be produced for billions of years to come. We never run out of oil. Anybody who tells you oils are going to finish tomorrow, it's very good because you pay for it. Because we have shown how all the amino acids on this planet are on the continuous production and it had nothing to do with the dinosaurs. Uh, as I explained, the truth about oil coming from animals and dinosaurs of the past is as much as the plasma physicists speak about cut particles. Because people don't understand, they can be abused. If you understand the simple reality that the Earth atmospheric condition is the cause and establishment and the starter of the amino acid, then you understand the rest of what you've been told about fuel oil and the oil industry is nothing but the hype. People giving their life energy for burning fuels which a few store away. Now the reality is 
in the next few months, in a few years, people of the oil industry become the laughing star of the others. Because people realize how they've been abused for what is actually ever producing and never finishes. If you still can understand the plasma physics, plasma technology, you understand a very big game which you all fell for. And that was what I call the CO2 trap. You know what the CO2 trap is? You all went to say the CO2 has created the global warming and is the cause of all our problem. I tell you one piece of the news, which I'm sure, why don't I do this? New page. That was the human way to do it. Now that's the God's way. Just push a press a button. The hand, the hand of God is not there. There it is. The more CO2 you produce, the more CO2 you produce, the more carbon you put in the air, the more oil you produce. Nobody told you that. Now you know the truth. The more you release carbon and oxygen in the atmosphere of the air of this planet, look what is the basis of the oil. Amino acid. Look, this planet has never produced so much oil than past hundred years than the man has started burning it. There is no global warming. There's a lot of global mongering and stealing, cutting trees, building the trees of forests which never exist. Because the more carbon and oxygen you put in the air, the more nitrogen you mixture with the hydrogen, the more oil is produced in interaction with the elements which you release in the air, in the seas, to become oil in a deeper end in a few years' time. There is air pollution to do with the moisture and the metals which you release into air due to consumption of the oil. Because when you have oil, these oils have gone through the structure of the physicality of the planet. They have absorbed other entities to themselves. And so they release them in the air, you get the air pollution. Plus, the moisture which comes from this guy, production of H2O. So, anybody who tells you, now that you understand plasma physics, you're all plasma physicists, the more CO2 you can put in the air, the more oil produced. But the problem now is that we use the plasma, will we need to put, or would we put any more carbon as a CO2, in the air. I doubt it because there is no need and you'll find out as we give a unit to the president of China, three units has gone to China, the environmental change for the human race by use of plasma will be drastic. It's taken us over 100 years to slowly adapt to a new composition 
of CH and a carbon and nitrogen in our environment. Now, with extracting it or not producing it anymore in that rate, our lungs and our blood has to change to adjust to the new changes in the strength of the plasma of the earth. We will, we will face new changes, but because we understand the work of the plasma, we can carry it through. We can explain it easier that we do not see such a horrendous change over the past two or ten years. But if you understand this much, you understand another piece of reality too, and that is if you manipulate the plasma in the right way and you can create a plasma which is huge bunch of gravitational magnetic fields gathered in one entity then from the same plasma you can create any material you need but you have to start in different positions of the plasma here on the matter state you get hydrogen but here in the energy level you get gold so the same plasma can give you anything depending on what strength of it you go inside remember one thing if you haven't been with us in the cash foundation we'll explain something very interesting to you if this is the gravitational magnetic field the strength of the plasma the power of the plasma increases by order of magnitude as you go in here for example let's say it's 10 to the power of one here is 10 to the power of a million here you don't want to count so the order of magnitude as you go more to the center of the toilet increases toilet roll sorry so you understand how you can have from a single plasma energy which can last for thousands of years the plasma of a hydrogen has been with us for thousands of years millions of years because as it opens up only the matter state of it constantly stays the same but it absorbs and it gives so it has and it will so much energy if it can give the appearance of a single plasma of hydrogen for millions of years you can imagine how much energy is in a single plasma of a hydrogen if you can tap into it and use every single field of it it can last for you your grandchildren your great great grandchildren and on so it's for man to stand and to start unravel the secret of the plasma and collectively because now there are no universities there are, at this moment of time there are no professors in real plasma technology as it is you all now have a degree as professors in plasma because nobody has ever taught the correct way so when it's correct and we all learn from the same basic we are all the same is now it's a clean slate for the world of science to for humanity to start all together in one go we have set the example by the magna power system the rest is yours let me explain to you one thing and you have to understand what i explained anyone who opposes this technology your understanding these are the people who have abused you and they want to carry on with the same abuse they call you terrorists they call you anything they like because with this they have no more control over you especially government because now they cannot control anything you do but there is one ethos with plasma technology you have to stay correct don't forget your own cells your own emotion your own body is made of the same thing so you're connected to it
You cannot abuse it and you cannot misuse it because then you abuse yourself and misuse yourself. So the fear of damage should not be and there is no carrot and no stick because man now understands you can have whatever you like when you need it, the amount you need it. So what is the use to fight for? What's the reason for somebody to be higher than the other because it can afford a fair coat by killing another animal or a bigger house made of gold because now you all can make gold. If a sick man in Dubai could make gold while he was sick in a hotel room, so the rest of you. Any questions from the new plasma physicists? Yep. We don't have a microphone. Does it work? You don't know. We have one question here in house. Hello. Hello. It works. Uh, hello. This is Ali. Uh, we. We're saying uh, from CO2, we, we're producing uh, oil. What about ozone layer? We're holding it. Ozone? Can you, can you tell me what is the ozone? Well, as present science, they told us they protecting us from the... No, no, but what is the ozone? It's the gas. Yes, but what kind of gas? Is, is it uh, O3? What is O3? Oxygen, and what I know is connecting with the nitrogen. Can you, explain, can you explain to me what is ozone? This is a very good question, but I'm going to tell you where I'm taking you. Three plasmas of the same thing. Yeah, okay, let's look at it in a different way. You, you understand that much? I don't understand that much. I know nothing about physics, but let's put it this. Uh, Mr. Kesh, do you want me to read the, uh, some, some of the Wikipedia uh, definition of ozone? Yes, please, why not? Okay, uh, maybe I can put it on as a screen. Are we going to accept the old physics or are we going to accept the plasma physics? Then we have to find a way to riddle about it or wriggle about it. What does it say, Wikipedia? Uh, yeah, let me, um, maybe if I just do the screen share, it'll be easy just for people here. Let me just get it to go. Very interesting figure, 220. Watch tomorrow. This morning was 480. Nobody's here to get educated. They're all here to steal the energy unit that they can do their nations. Watch the pattern of man's behavior. Okay, so we've got um, the Wikipedia here says ozone, um, also called trioxygen, is an inorganic molecule with the chemical formula, uh, formula O3. It's a pale blue gas with a distinctively pungent smell. Um, it goes on to say, it breaks down in the lower atmosphere to normal dioxygen. And uh, it also mentions that it's formed from dioxygen. Ozone is formed from dioxygen by the action of ultraviolet light and also atmospheric electrical discharges and is present in low concentrations throughout the Earth's atmosphere, stratosphere, and so on. Okay, let's understand. To be able to understand this, you have to go back. Can I have my screen back? Okay, let's, let us see what happens, it says, in the presence of ultraviolet. So you have to go back. People of the Cash Foundation in the plasma section, they all know this. There's no problem. But for those who don't understand, 
What happened? I have a good rubber here. This is the Earth atmosphere, upper atmosphere. This is the planet Earth. Here, we have interaction of the fields from the sun. Here, we have the interaction of the fields from the Earth. Somewhere in this region, there is a field force interaction between plasmas. And this field for interaction, gravitational magnetical, releases a combination of fields which one of them and most of it is nitrogen. In this bandwidth, huge amount of nitrogen in plasma form, the strength of plasma for nitrogen in interaction of the rubbing of the gravitational magnetic field of the Earth and gravitational magnetic field of the Sun is created. This is thousands of kilometers bandwidth, not just one or two kilometers. In this rubbing, some fields are slightly lower, end up with carbon, and some fields end up with oxygen. 14, 12, and 16. 16. When the conversion rate of the exchange with nitrogen is high, you produce more of the oxygen level, which is to do because of the rabbit rubbing of each other leads to creation of three molecules or atomic three atoms which is to this but then what it tells you in the presence of ultraviolet nitrogen has a property that in the vacuum condition it creates extreme ultraviolet this is its habit it does the same thing in the lung of the man. When you breathe, 60% of what you breathe is nitrogen. The reason that it works in your lung, nitrogen releases itself to atomic plasma structure into uh, ultraviolet, which is energy enough to add to a single oxygen and O2, where in the lower level of atmosphere, this one becomes part of the moisture of the water, what we call the atmospheric water, but in the plasma form, not in the matter state of water. And then what happens? The gravitational field forces within the Earth, in the oceans, create the same field and attract this plasma and add to the water of the seas. You got to realize as much as we take from the universe, from the plasma of the solar system, we add to it. We lose a lot of our material like vapors and other things into the atmosphere of the solar system. It's not a one-way traffic. So this never rains in as matter. It comes in as a plasma of the water. And then what you're left with is O2. And then that's how you have ozone. And then go back and you tell me how long Earth has been fighting with global warming. From the beginning of the establishment of this planet, Global warming has existed because it's part of the structure of his work. Made very good money for the Dutch people who came up with it and everybody else bought it. Greenhouse effect. Sorry, Richard, I know you're there. 
greenhouse effect was a greenhouse of money making just for the Dutch people who came up with it. It never existed. They have greenhouses. If you go to Holland, everything is, uh, what do you call it, greenhouses. Now they came up with the word and everybody else bought it. Now you're paying for what the universe has been doing freely for millions of years. So now you see how even the essence of life started on this planet. Your own amino acid. Everything is in the atmosphere. Man, creation, life on this planet is made in its gaseous part not in its matter size. The mother of humanity, life on this earth, is not earth, this is atmosphere. Without the amino acid, without the air, which creates the amino acid, what we call Mr. Cohen, there would have been no physicality to the life of a man on this planet. When Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, and carbon of the gaseous side interacts with the earth. It leads to creation of different type of life, as I have explained it. So now we understand the plasma. We understand how simply plasmas work together. Now we understand we can take these plasmas as gravitational magnetic field and go anywhere in the universe and still live a life as man. We don't need to carry any more food. One of the biggest restrictions for space agencies like NASA, Russian Space Agency and the rest is how much food we can carry, that we can time ourselves that we come back, that we have enough water to drink and enough food for the astronauts or cosmonauts or whatever you call them. Now we know we just need the gravitational magnetic field of it then we can chop the bread the way we like. If this is the bread of the plasma, this is for water, and this size is meat. So you cut it the way you want. So now with a new spaceship technology, there is no limit for the time of the man in the space. We have no limitation anymore. We have shown it and we show further and further how now that you have used and I start using these units from now on. When you get these units at home, do something very special. And that is, when you get the units, don't look at them as a power unit that you're gonna light up or you're gonna do whatever with. When you get the power unit, Start understanding the plasma, measure the plasma of, let's say, water, and at the end of this thing, there is a plug. This is something you lot are going to be shocked with, and I kept on telling you. You plug this into the electricity to get a balance, soon you don't have this, but this plasma unit releases your energy. When you get one of these units at home, do something very, very simple. And you should all be able to do it. Put your system on the wall and then connect different things to it. This one, pardon? If they are seeing it, the cameras are taking it. Are we sharing a screen? Okay. Now, what I explained, I come more in the middle for you to understand. So you told a row. So you have a machine like this. You plug it in. What you need from here is the plasma of water. 
you change the combination you get from here into your machine plasma of let's say vitamin C you decide what this machine is going to give you from now on this is where the change has come and you still haven't understood in the coming weeks we sell you pieces you adopt you adopt you can have four or five of these next to each other one give you water one give you vitamin c one give you protein you can have fish whatever you like you just adjust it to what you want and that's this is not a power generator to give you electricity this is what it says magra power system power in the hand of people where you decide what to come out of it this is the change that a lot of you have not come to understand what has hit you in the world of science you change the position of the strength of gravitational or magnetical you have water, you have ozone, you have nitrogen, whatever you like. This plug here is exactly as is sun. You decide what you want at the end of it. You want gold, you come change the combination of the gravitational magnetical to the level of gold. These machines will just pump out gold for you in tons of kilos every day we're going to show this it's not going to show it's already been done but it's a matter of getting the first energy units out that the technology cannot be blocked and now we are out it's in the hand of you know people now you see in the structure now we show you the next step so when you look at this magrav's unit it's one long piece of plasma the beginning you cut somewhere in the rest of it is connected to the universe how much do you want to take out of the universe there is no limit to it there is no function in fighting for anything anymore so in the coming weeks coming days only thing you're going to see from us is another unit which connects to this or you add to this then you can have whatever you like. This is not the electricity power unit, it's a plasma power unit. This changes. Changes a lot of things. In a coming time, I will release a unit that you can just hold it for a few seconds a day. All the energy you want as a food is absorbed into your body according to what you need. And whatever you don't need will be given back to the system. Look at it, what you've done. What I explained to you, already done. Maybe now you can extend the knowledge. As I said, where is the, where is the, Fabio? Where is the pen? The pain pen. The pain pen. Can you bring it, please? Do you have one? No. No, the pain pen. Yeah, Karen has it. Caroline has it. Ask Caroline for the blue paint pen, please. The paint pen, which you have, and we show you how to make it. Most of you have seen it on the internet. It's very simple. Ooh, I don't have to worry to get red and blue and black anymore. That's one thing. Good. In a paint pen, you have both gravitational magnetic field and you put it on the skin and you get rid of the pain because gravitational connects magnetical connects if it needs it takes if it doesn't need it gives what you do in your body what you don't need from what you've eaten because it's matter state you've eaten you reject what you need you take now with these systems it's exactly the same when you connect yourself to a power supply like this you take from it the spectrum of what you need and you give to the system what you don't need does man need to eat anymore is there a need for fighting for food and dumping food 
where you can bring your children in the morning and just let them to touch the system to absorb what they need for a whole day. If you're short of, still there, you can come forever. We convert food into plasma and then we take the energy of the plasma in our digestion system. Now we have found a way to do it without the digestion. In the coming days, I will show you a system where you can just touch the system. You don't need to do anything. And you write when is the last time you've eaten? 10 days ago? Two years ago? This was the promise of the prophets of God, and we fulfilled it in a simple technology. This is what we said. If you understand, you don't need to fight. In a, one of the main things for me now that the energy units are out is to let the power of the food to be replaced because food is the most important thing. This is the pen. Most of you, I don't know if you've seen it, our colleagues in Philippines are mass producing it. Next week you can buy 10,000 of it, not next week, the week after, you can buy 10,000 of it here in Italy. Touch the pain and the pain doesn't disappear. You transfer through gravitational magnetic field what you learned, what you don't need in your body, it takes from you, and what you need, it gives to you. Through its magnetical gravitational. Now, we go a step further, connecting the same thing into the structure of the plasma of the full spectrum which the system supplies. Your body takes what it needs. In a few weeks time, when we release the food section of this system, this technology, and then the medical application of it, I want to see how much you will pay for chemotherapy. They will give you the treatment free. They, they furnish you with any fruit you like, please take off the shelves. Supermarkets and tins will be gift for everyone who wants to walk through them because people can't afford paying it, but they can afford having a system and feeding themselves. No one will die of hunger anymore. Nobody can unplug you with a six month old child in America, having no water, no electricity, and they think they're in charge. Now they're only in charge of their own coffin because they dug it themselves. They pushed it so far. Now that's exactly what's going to happen. And they fall down the ground like nothing. When we hear these things, we don't react, we just teach. When you teach the knowledge, now thousands of you have learned what to do. By the end of this week, and by the next couple of weeks, hopefully before Christmas, we deliver so many systems into public domain that there is one choice and one choice only, to stop the abuse of human race altogether by the others. Because I told you, I start teaching you and I'm going to give you enough to be shocked to understand what's going on. There is no, even this system sitting here at this moment is releasing huge amount of plasma. You activated it when you plugged it in the ambassadorial meeting in Rome. It's activated, you can't stop it anymore. You have put a kick in the back of a horse, which is running. Do you know what a Neishador is? Yeah? Worse than that. So now you've got to realize what plasma is, how you want to take the energy of the plasma, how you want to balance it, how much you want to use it, and then you understand there is no fear of the plasma technology. The ones who make you afraid of it are the ones that now they've lost control. Because you don't need to go to any government to get a license. There are plenty of wires in your house. Old grandmother's light on the sideboard. Nano coated, connected. You won't have 
200 kilowatts, but you have enough that you can do. And nobody can come and say, why well, you're not using electricity? I don't need electricity anymore. I produce my own. There are small deviations. We have to change the systems in a DC plasma condition, like your heating and the rest. And those are already done. If the tests come right, very quickly, we release it in public. We won't let nobody abuses no one. We don't send people to China to make system and then bury it. Now, we bury it all together in our gardens, in our houses, and we all use it. I show you the new technology in health, which is effective to anyone, anywhere on this planet and beyond. Now that the system is out, I've proven my technology. The problem is yours, how you want not to abuse it. The cat is out of the bag, but you have to be educated in the use of plasma. How to use it, how to manipulate it, how to understand it. And if anybody comes and says, I'm a physicist from CERN, you say, excuse me, this is your degree at toilet roll. Would you like to go to toilet with it? That's all it worth. Because the physicists today have not understood and the ones who understood were persecuted to stop that they can abuse. Now it's in open. As I told you many times, when my degree came through the door, I put it on the toilet roll and my mother said, why? I said, that's all it worth because I'm not going to do anything with it. Degrees from universities will worth nothing if it doesn't carry the integrity of the man with the knowledge to share and not to abuse. And we see this will change the humanity in the coming time. We'll change everything. Now, you have a free energy. By the end of this week, I get killed. You all know how to have free energy. And now that you know it's a plasma transfer, is not electrical transfer, how much energy you want? Banana? Cucumber? Bread? Vitamin C? Cancer? Reversal? Now, our work is to create a system which can fit into energy of any entity. We made a very nice thing here. You don't see it. If you're on a live stream, you see it. We have two lines, green lines on the floor. You don't see. This is the boundary of me being able to walk. Beyond it, I'm invisible. In it, you can see me. And the other side, I'm invisible too but my energy and my voice is still the same. Just because you don't see me, doesn't mean you don't carry the knowledge. It's the same with plasma. Just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's you who got to understand if it's beyond you or above you or within the range you want to see it. This boundary is a matter state. So now you decide if you want it to become gold, to become plasma of your whatever you like, vitamin C, or you want to use it to convert it to light and heat. So the change is fundamental. And the beauty of it is now we share with thousands and thousands of people. Millions of people are aware of the change and what's coming, and they are doing it themselves. So anyone who's trapped in the world of abuse, they find out, as they say, the clock is ticking. Because now, you all have the freedom. Maybe today, 26th of November 2015, will be remembered by humanity, how you've been freed from the shackles of the abuse, for energy, for power, but not through your governments, but by yourselves. Because this time is not like your room. What they call Egyptian time, a few people understand and know and hide it, and then the technology disappears. We spread the knowledge so deep amongst millions of people that you all can produce it and release yourselves and your nations and your friends from the shackles. And if you can't do, you still pay us. We still work on the money market with it, but we make as many as possible to give to many people that in time needed, nobody needs any money to do. Because, as I said, 
next week we invite you or the week after we invite you to come to witness the first units to be given to people freely i am not a, what you call it robin hood we are realistic people we understand what we are doing and we know the society to change has to change from inside out where everybody becomes equal and there is no abuse by the one who have it and we teach it we teach it to the africans yesterday or this morning i received a message from our people in ghana people from ethiopia scientists have been for a visit and they heard about Keshe Foundation in Ghana teaching, they have asked our guys to teach in Ghana to Ethiopian scientists that they can take the technology back to Ethiopia when they go back in two days time, that they can develop their own plasma technology in Ethiopia. We have put the seed of knowledge in Africa solidly with two most beautiful people. So we see what happens. We see how far we can go. But the only thing which is going to be left while the West is fighting, if there is a pattern right, if there's no pattern right, if it's illegal or if it's legal, Africans will take over. There is no problem because they don't have an FDA and they don't have any certification. They know one thing. System works. It gives them energy. It gives them food. Who made the FDA? The ones who wanted to rob you and who made the legislation there is no certification in this at this moment anywhere in the structure of this planet in any organization which can certify a plasma technology unless the ones who want to block it that's why we thought it this way nobody can block there is no way when millions of people make it at home nobody can the technology is accepted and is the ones who want waiting for certification we give you sir. by the time you get certification the africans all have it by the time you want fda approval if you can use it for food you lost this is the beauty of it the way we have released the knowledge throughout the world You want the pad? Just the right? The new ones? Oh, this is the old ones. So, now you got to realize the simplicity of the knowledge which can be done. As I said, this week, more or less, where we are now, is nearly 11 years, 10 years, since we sat in a room with a man who calls himself scientist with three of them, with my notary and another colleague of mine from Cash Foundation in Belgium. And the guy said to me, Mr. Cash, your knowledge is you explain it in such a simple way and you write in such a simple way. And knowledge like this should be written in a very complicated language that people can't understand. And I said to him, I write my work and I teach my work in a way that a man in the back of Africa village can do it, that a white man across the table from me cannot abuse it because it's from his habit of him. He said, Mr. Cash, we have finished discussion because he realized he's abuser. So now there is no abuse. Tonight or tomorrow, the scientists from the nuclear center in Ghana are more educated than the scientists from NASA who refuse to turn up. And now scientists from Atomic Nuclear Center of uh, what you call, Ethiopia and the Agriculture Center have all the access to all the technology thought directly by a scientist to them who understands the technology. And now here we still battle if it is good, if it has a license, and you go and see what commotion is on the internet. They want the warrant for my arrest because I'm teaching plasma. It's illegal for me to teach plasma. And it all comes from one country called Belgium. Bunch of no gooders. You can't put anything else to them. So please take me to court. Please take the rest of the court because we are all now criminals. So understand the work of plasma is a matter in a free state of its energy 
and you can tap into it the way you like, the way it is. They cannot stop this technology in any shape or form, as now is globally. Look at the numbers here. 219 people, and by tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, or how do you get rid of this one? I go there. I'm learning, huh? So, 218 by next week, by the end of this week, it will be a few hundred thousand. And please, you've never seen a scientist to give his technology and beg people, make it as fast as you can. Do as many as you can. You can't do it, write to us. we show you where your problem is. And then give a gift to your president. Say, I made to free my own family. I give it to you to free my nation. Is there a problem? No, no problem. Cash Foundation, knowledge seekers are the troublemakers. Doesn't matter where they go, even in their own class. Demonstration what? The unit. Oh, they do it themselves on Friday. That's the whole magic. If I do it, there is something in that box. That's what I'm teaching you, that you all become magicians. Have you ever seen a magician teaching everybody the magic? You haven't got it yet? I opened it, they say, is there something in it? It's connected to the power. You don't need me. I teach you everything on Friday. One by one of you will be proud to show how you have freed yourself. Open the window. It's got too excited. It's too hot. So now you understand. You want the box, you're all receiving the box. Anybody who's paid for it, within the next few days, it'll be there. If we get any blockage, we send you another one. And then we tell you where it is. And you ask the custom officer, excuse me, tell me what's this unit. If you can tell me there is something wrong with a bunch of copper, then there's something wrong with your head. That's all. So let them explain to you why they don't want you to have it. So you want to know, you want to see how it performs. It means no problem. You pay us, go on the website, pay for it. We get you and we give three or four other people a free units to have. And then on top of it, on Friday, please make as many units as you can around the world. Connect your system to it and show it to us. If it means next week, every day, we spend one or two hours showing people's new unit, how they're using it, they're lighting their houses and the rest, and then we all become a bunch of liars to the ones who lie to themselves. That was the whole purpose of the Third World Peace Conference for the ambassadors. The ambassadors were figurehead. The ambassadors of Cash Foundation Technology is every single one of you. That's where the difference comes. And that's how you all walked into it without knowing what's going to happen to you. But I promise you one thing, you have never had it so good that you all became ambassador, but the ambassadors of peace, energy, health, and equality of mankind. So now you didn't believe it, you believed in the pen, you made it yourself. It's the same thing. If I could do something very strange for you, if I stick this one in the back and another one there and get you both holding on to it, it'll do the same thing as the plasma technology. The other end of this plug is connected to this inside. You made the pen units. You remember? You made the pen unit and you put the core. You made the other unit, two of it. And all we did, we put it, yeah, we put it in a plastic container. Pardon? Yeah. Do you want me to stop? 
So what has happened? You have made a pen. This is your skin. You put it on your skin and you saw how the pain barrier was painful, is reduced or gone. Yeah? My friends, what have I shown you since this morning? That's the outer case. That's the inner case. And you put the pin right through it. If this was good enough to take your pain away, you can imagine what is good enough in there to give you all the food you need for your life. This is the pen. All of you. And you're going to buy 10,000, 20 millions of it. If you look, this is the vertical. If you look, this is the spherical. So, if you see in this releasing your energy, your pain, you can imagine what a powerful unit like this can do. Now you understand? So, you got to realize the simplicity. All you've done now is the same thing. You went to the coil, and then you added it. You made the other coil, and now you added it. What's the difference? Just because it's a spherical, it's different than the horizontal one? Or is it, again, the lack of understanding? If that simple or small could take your pain away, you can imagine what this can do to you. It can give you everything which you need, and everything you don't need will take from you. Would there be a cancer? Would there be a deformity in anything? Because this way you find energetic balance. Don't forget, we learned from our agricultural experience with the Chinese, with the Mexicans. We learned something very simple. You remember, we put a seed. We did this years ago. We put a seed and we saw it growing like a grass. A wheat going back to its origin with no deformities, no manipulation of mankind on it. Over centuries, thousands of years, we manipulated the seed to become wheat and then Monsanto decided that they're going to control even that, that they decide what you eat. You put it in CO2, which is what is this kind of things coated with. And then you see that it goes back to original grass. Now, if you can manipulate and add this and you connect yourself to it, would there be, would there be a cancer cell? Or would your body balance itself? to the point where there were no disease and no illnesses. Very difficult, isn't it? So, you understand? The reality is coming so fast that from today is not my problem. From today is your problem. Me and my wife and family got blown up in the car, we got shot at, shot at high speed by people from Antwerp, we got poisoned with arsenic and Donabella and Belladonna, we, they came to our house to shoot us live in front door, they intimidated us out of our house for you lot to see if they can do this with you now, with millions of you using it. Today, I feel sorry for a lot of Belgium supporters in Belgium, Cash Foundation supporters, who are now are under, under heavy pressure by security services to be manipulated. They are literally sitting, don't know if they can use their computer or not, because the police of Belgium has decided we're going to put them under so much pressure that they're going to squeak against Cash Foundation. And none of them is doing it because they've seen the beauty of it. Secret Service of Belgium has put thousands of thousands of hours with one man, we know who it is, is in the hand of federal police, of international police, intimidating all the Cash Foundation supporters not to use the technology. And if you haven't spoken to me, you're a criminal. Because the monopoly of the finances in the world comes through 
the monarchy of Belgium. And now, with this, they have lost it. Because now, this, is what there is, this was the biggest nightmare for a bunch of people who were controlling the world of finance. Now, there is no finance, because every single one of you have enough copper in the house to free yourself. Not with a little light, but with all the energy you need. And, unfortunately, at this moment of time, there is more energy units in the hand of the President of China than it is in Belgium. They got none, but the Chinese received three, and it's already this week, hopefully, is in the hand of the President. Alman has delivered his units to the Parliament of the Armenia last week in Georgia, and hopefully next week he'll be in Moscow. And we have seen other ambassadors have taken. So the knowledge is as a spread. Now it's teaching you <coughs> how to use the knowledge correctly. That's all the purpose of this week is. The blueprint is to show not only the system, but once you have the system, how to use it. I have given you a Rolls Royce. But if you've been used to riding a donkey, you don't know what a car is, what's the use of me giving you a Rolls Royce? You've been used to matter state, which is a donkey state in the world of universal energy system. Now, we have given you the Rolls Royce of use of plasma, that you can have whatever you like. Now we've got to teach you how to drive it. What it means, what it does, how it performs, what you can get out of it. By Friday, we show you how to do a correct system for your cars. That you don't damage the car, but you can utilize it in a way that you can save what you call the fuel energy in conjunction with the plasma energy. Plasma is the new kid in the block of the energy, universal energy. Whatever you are used to, when you add the plasma technology, it says, oh, I'm using less fuel. Yes, is not what they say 100 plus 1, what they call free energy. There is no free ride in the universe. There is no 100 plus 1. We are very straightforward. We are not disguising and we are not hiding. We say very simply is 100 plus a thousand. Forget about the one. But the thousand is a new fuel called plasma. That's the truth. Even if you want to compare it, if a hundred was, a plasma is ten thousand to a thousand. Because it has every energy you want that you want to use. Food, metal, Wood, anything you can imagine, in time we will release it, you will understand. What you're going to forget is to forget about this and understand everything comes from this box. And in that box, you decide what you want to get out of. So we make different versions of it in the coming months that for you is simple. This is for food, this is for medicine, this is for water. This is for energy, this is for flight. And the ones who want to see the demonstration, make your own. Not mine, not in my time. I have taught you everything. Tomorrow, when you've done it, I will show you the next step. All the units are downstairs. We bring it step at a time for you to see. Today was for you to understand how simple the basic is. Tomorrow, when um, Richard, can you put that picture which you put on, please? I've seen you. What is for what? Homework. Homework is to make these coils and nano coat them by tomorrow morning. We'll have the headmaster coming and checking. We got our guru here. Would you like to check, Marco? Of course. <laughs> we, we said on last week the things are needed. And Richard was here with us in the opening and in the third world conference, third ambassador's world conference. And 
he showed it. I've seen his post of the picture this afternoon of his coil. Can we have that picture, Richard? You see, this is the next step. This is what you should have by tomorrow morning. If you don't have a 14 gauge uh, copper, doesn't matter. Get yourself a build one that you can see how easy it is. <coughs> there it is. There is the the Dutchman. There we are. Look. <laughs> Richard, you're fast. Look, is this what you've made since this morning? What are you typing in? Oh, you've got an echo right now. Just a sec. Just a sec. How many points have you made? Uh, one. Okay, that's better, right? Okay, you are okay. very quick. Yeah, yeah, you can see my Facebook. I posted a detailed picture from the coils, and yeah, I'm, I'm up and running with the coils. I, I actually have a question for you. While yeah. I'm busy on these, um, what I noticed... Can you show them how fast you're making it? How come you're making them so fast? Oh, it's actually quite quickly. Uh, uh, you've got the outer core coil. Yeah. Then you've got the inner coil. coil, coil. How, yeah. how did you make the outer coil, though, uh, Richard? How did you wrap it or on what sort of... Uh, show them how you do. You use a drill. Yeah, what I, I, just a sec. I'll just be quickly. Now we gave the secret here. Huh? You're going to make two... Oh, there we are. Ah. Richard, show us the drill. He decides that the inner coil is big enough or small enough to fit into the, the smaller coil. You decide by the, you have enough tubes, enough cylinders in the house, yeah? You just choose one, the size of what you want it to be. You put it on the drill and you just hold it. It has to be anti-clockwise and you do a drill, anti-clockwise is done. It takes less than one minute to make a coil. Yeah, Vince, can you switch the camera? Pardon? Yeah, that's right. So there I made this, this plank. I don't, I don't have a wire in it right now, but I put a wire through here. Yeah. And then it, come, it feeds back from the back here. And then it goes through here. And then it goes around this um, metal bar, which I connected to my screwdriver. And what I do now, then I connect... Uh, the uh, wire inside here. I'll, I can show you really quickly, really, really quickly. Be careful. You don't show too much. That's right. <laughs> I've been a short on wires now. What did you, did you strip the house? <laughs> I <laughs> used almost all, yeah. <laughs> I'll be really quick and see if I can fix this for you. I'll switch off the camera for a moment. Yeah. And what I do is I take a copper wire and just feed it through that hole. Oh, and then I just... Camera. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, I'm just going to switch for a moment. I have to do, I do this by myself, so I'm a bit short-handed here. Okay. Give me about a minute and I'll show you perfectly. And what is the wire? You can see the numbers on the board. 503. <laughs> 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 he's got the Zoom number, so he's been watching it. <laughs> oh, you've got the Zoom number there on the table, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to see. Okay. We don't see it. We we'll still see the table. Okay, so what I have here, this is the wire I get through here. And there was actually a quite nice video on YouTube recently, so then I put this wire right in here, 
I'll just put you down for a moment. So what I have now is I have the wire right go inside here. So it locks. And then I press, press my drill against it. Yeah. Pull the wire. And I just... Thank you very much. That's how quickly it goes. Isn't that slick? That's that's pretty simple. That's and very quick. cute. Very nice. Very nice trick. Okay. That's, that's how you make the coil. That should enable know. people all over the world Richard. to their projects tonight. Okay, show us the next. What do you do then? Then you end up with a long coil and you actually, it's really tight. So it's compact and it's all like, there's no space in between. Uh -huh. So what I do now is I have, I use now one millimeter wire. So you're advising one and a half, 1.6 millimeters, yeah, but I'm just no. using this because it's quite easy to handle. Um, and what I do then, when you want to increase the spacing, you can just pull it apart. So you just take it both sides and you just pull it. They evenly distribute the spacings between the coils, so it really mm -hmm. gets and stays that way. Okay. Then first, you have to have a certain amount of coil turns for one the inside core, right? So I took uh, I think seventy two for the first inner core, and what I do then, I make the length of the inside and the outside core the same. I have the inside core with a long wire and shorter wire at the end. And the same thing for the other wire. You still hearing me? Yes. Okay. Then I pass through the long wire through the outer core. Uh, I do this. It has to be clockwise, huh? Clockwise. Yeah, correct. Go in. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Clockwise. And you go through here. Yep. And it comes out. The other side again. Yeah. It's a bit of a hassle getting through. But... So now you have the first loop. You need three of these. Don't forget. Uh, Richard will be running the cash foundation manufacturing for Holland. So it's good practice for him. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm almost there. Just a sec. And what I do Don't then. Don't forget you got to bend the ends before you put in nano material to nano coat it. Yeah. So then I, I just pull it till it becomes a almost a circle and yes. I just bend it out the inside and then it stays. Fantastic. Now you've seen since this morning. This is what And then I'm almost done. <laughs> you have three sets. I, I actually I, I actually have one full set now. Okay. So you can nano coat it by tomorrow morning we can see it. Yeah, and then the question was, I, I didn't finish my question. Um, what I noticed through making these now, the inside core actually dictates because of the fact that you're pushing a wire through, you cannot stretch it, it's a fixed position. So the, the question for me would be, uh, how much spacing do we need in between of the uh, coils, the, the turns? Not much, but it has to be a spread. It can't be totally open. But okay. if you look at it, where your finger is, inside the ring is tighter than the outside. Yeah. So you get that disbalance everywhere anyway. But if you have enough separation, that will compensate for itself. Okay, so if you need you enough. It, if, if you look at it, this has cost European community billions to make. A balance to the coil in CERN. You made it for less than a few cents. Pardon? 
No, no, it doesn't, it stays as it is, doesn't change shape. So now, to go one step further, just place the small one in the center of the other one. Yeah. You need three sets like this. But remember each end, where you got, where you started. You have to know about each set. Now what you're going to do, put this into a caustic and you need three sets of it. Actually, in the future, you need another three sets. I'll explain to you how you need another set. So if you make another three sets while you're at it, then I'll show you by the end of the week why you need it. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be there. <laughs> <coughs> so now you see, Richard is not the only one. Hundreds of people around the world are making these units. So when we put the system into power, into releasing their energy, all of you together can do. Any questions? It's not requesting. You can still use, as Richard said, a thinner one. But when it comes to power, the thicker copper wires give it quite a different performance than the thinner one. So try to get it as thick as you can. 1.14 oh, gauges, 1.6 mil is one of the best ones we've seen. So now you have seen, you want to show the technology, the power of it. I'm sure Richard will show us on Thursday and Friday. And then we go back every week. The only thing which is important to remember, which is going to be one of your, not your problem, is this that for every kilowatt, for, for every kilowatt you consume, if you set your system the right way, with the right power consumption in the house, you can put up to a kilowatt onto the national grid. Pardon? Yes, it's your personal donation to your government. They'll never pay you. The possibility is that if you gear it the right way, you can do up to 200 times per kilowatt. But you got to remember, this needs time because if you remember in the teaching of this morning, we told you, you have to nano coat the wiring in the house. This way, you're nano coating the wiring of the government. Actually, it's not government, it's you, you paid for it. Power lines are national assets don't belong to no one. If they ask you, why have you done this? This is my share, I paid for it. I only pay for the top layer, nano layer is mine. And then, when do it, this is a superconductor. And you find out, you'll be neighboring your neighbors and neighbors and the neighbors and the neighbors. You are not releasing AC current into the grid, you are releasing plasma current into the grid. And if anybody tells you it's illegal, it says, 
The thunder and the lightning does it freely. Have you ever seen anybody taking a thunder and lightning to the court? They can take it to court as well. Because it's what happens naturally when you have thunder and lightning and it gets the main line. It doesn't blow the fuse all the time. The ionization by the plasma is so much that the grid can't take. This way you are doing it naturally. You'll find out very soon you or your nation will have no power supply units as power stations. Because this is the word. The, the faster a nation gets into this and complete it, the faster you become free from energy and food. Because you go to the squares, they can put the same units and you all walk around happily ever after. You have all the energy you need to eat. Nobody will go hungry anymore. All you need to do to connect these in a square, 10 or 20 of them, everybody gets fed. In Italy, it's fantastic. When you go out at 7 o'clock, everybody, all the men are on the square while the women are making the pasta. Correct? Yeah. So now all the men go home, women can't make the pasta. I'm not hungry anymore. So where is the new mistress called Maghreb Paul? They feed us in the square. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> <coughs> you will see, in a way, we have freed the women from the kitchen with this technology. You don't need to spend your time cooking anymore. The minute he comes home, says, hold on to the wire, darling. I'm full. No more. No more woman can say, I've been slaving whole day in the kitchen cooking for you, darling. What, holding a wire that much? Or I put some in there, a spaghetti sauce flavor and other things. So now you see how far we have touched the fabric of society in one session in the morning. Very good time for the youngsters, huh? But I would like to taste the flavor of spaghetti bolognese. So darling, I don't have time, just hold on to the wire. <laughs> <coughs> this is how it's going to be. Anyway, thank you very much for today. Tomorrow, we start a new session. Tomorrow is the continuation of what we've seen Richard has shown. Any of you who's built these, please show it. Please put everything in open that our transparency becomes the freedom of man from the shackles of finance, energy, and food, which now has been a burden on all of us. Thank you very much for today. We'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock Central European time as usual. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Cash. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Okay, that's the end of today's uh, workshop for this afternoon. That's Monday, October 26, 2015. And this is the the blueprint teaching week and tomorrow will be another installment tomorrow morning we'll we'll hear more about the um the practicality of um uh, building these devices and more of the questions can be answered tomorrow i know there's a lot of questions out there now but we could, can't answer everything hopefully a lot of the questions have been answered in the uh, conversation today as well okay i'm going to end the live stream and then we'll end the uh, meeting On the live stream, we had a thousand people on YouTube and 2,000 on uh, live stream on this afternoon. So, thank you everybody for coming in. Yep, 2127 right now on live stream. All right, bye for now.